another example of an electrical system that I have installed this week. I thought I'd show you all because uh, I had a lot of questions from people, a lot of interest from people. Um, yeah, let me, let, me, let me show you. Oh, this is a Citroen Relay, I believe. And this is what I've built. Still got to put those covers over the bus bars. Fuse box relay, uh, fuse box breaker and switch on the end here for ease of changing fuses from the back door. This is a mega, mega battery. It's huge. Victron 220 amp hour. Let's jump in. This is quite smart. Quite interested to talk about this. This is a battery protect. I've not fitted one of these before. So the, the uh, battery protect does exactly what it says. It protects your battery, so you can set whatever level you want all the power coming out of the battery to cut out at. So with these deep cycle batteries, I've decided to have that cut that cut out at about 50-60% and come on again at about 70%. So it just stops your battery draining too low and doing permanent damage to it. So uh, yeah, I really like that. This is the uh, this is a mains mains battery charger by Victron so once you're on on hookup then you, this will start charging using that got the battery monitor the 712 the screen is down here ready for the customer to install wherever he wants the screen so I'm gonna put these uh, covers on now for the bus bars but each of the the solar charge controller and the battery to battery charger they've each got their own breaker Also fitted a consumer unit, so the customer just needs to put some sockets on the other end of that and then he can have mains power from the outside of the van, it plugs in from the outside of the van. Wired in, one, two, three USBs, and I've got all the lights working, it's got these, oop, let's switch it on, shall we? So it's got independent controls on the, all these lights. There's another one going to be going there as well. Quite quirky rustic lights, I like these. And... I fitted a, di I fitted a diesel heater too, down here. So the customer needs to build his kitchen unit, I think it's going here. And the vent ducting will be coming out the corner of the kitchen here. And I've left the display here for when the customer wants, wants to hang it somewhere. This van, has, this van has an absolutely massive solar panel. I think it's like 360 watt solar panel. The diesel heater exhaust got coming out there next to the van exhaust. I've got, where is it? Induction, yeah, induction air filter, air, air intake and There's the, the filter and the pump. Also, the customer didn't want the secondary diesel tank for this heater, so I tapped into his inspection cap on the top of his van diesel tank. So, yeah, but I've, I've obviously, when you, when you fit a standpipe, you don't want it to go right to the bottom so that the heater could drain all the fuel out of your thing uh, van tank and you won't be able to drive off. So, yeah, about an inch or so. From the bottom of the diesel tank, that's where the standpipe is pulling diesel from for the heater. But yeah, I really like this. I really like this setup. I want to do mine all again now in my vans. So just wanted to show another setup I've done. So if you want your electrics done, you're not sure about doing it yourself, Drop me an email, lukesvanlife at gmail.com and you can have a similarly smart electrical system in your van if you want. Just hope the customer's happy when he collects the van in a minute. I don't see why he wouldn't be. I love it. I'd be happy to showcase this van, you know, this electric setup. Alright, thanks for watching guys. See you soon.